So have you ever shoot video on your iPhone and want to transfer those video files to your computer for edit? Or you ever find some form of clip on your computer and you want to transfer those files to your phone? I'm not sure how you can transfer those files. Now in this video, I'm going to show you guys four ways in which you can transfer file from your phone to your computer or from your computer to your phone for easy step and also if you stick around to the end of this video i'm going to give you some bonus features that you can also use which may be the game changer for you so just stick around what's up guys welcome or welcome back to my channel akim sterling here now on this channel i do tech product reviews, software reviews, and tips and strategies that will level up your quality of your content and also to keep you motivated as a content creator. So if you find any of those of any interest, please hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on future content. Let's get right into it. Okay guys, so the first thing you need to do is to connect your cable from your phone to your computer. So I'm gonna connect my cable from my phone to my computer. Alright, now the cable has been connected. You should see a notification come up on your screen that shows the phone that has been connected. Okay, there is it. So what you're going to do is to go to your file manager right here. So I'm going to show you exactly how you can transfer a file from your phone to your computer one way. So I'm going to this PC and I'm going to go to Apple iPhone and you should see right here internal storage and the file is DCIM. That's a file where I store all my all my videos and pictures. So I'm going to go to a file now. So these are Apple file, iCloud and those things. So I'm going to choose a file in which I want to locate um, my, my videos. So for example, um, let's choose a file. So this can be done whether you're using um, transfer video or you're transferring pictures and such from your computer. So I'm going to choose a file. I'm going to choose this picture right here. I can also choose a video as well, but I'm going to choose a, vid, um, a picture for this process because I haven't seen any video inside this folder. Anyway, I'm going to choose this thumbnail right here. So what I can do is to, is to right click, copy, and paste it to my desktop. So the file is now um, paste to my desktop. Now the thing about this process is that you cannot transfer a file back onto your iPhone. I'm going to show you. So I realize that when I try to transfer this file back, it's showing a X. That means you cannot copy back file from your computer to your iPhone. So I'm going to also show you how you can transfer a file from your computer to your phone if you stick around in this video. So I'm going to show you another way in which you can transfer a file from your phone to your computer. So what you want to do is open your photo app and choose the video or image that you want to upload. Now once you have chosen the image, you're going to click on share. Then you're going to see save to file. Now you're going to click on save to file. Now when you click on save to file, you're going to see some option where you want to save the file to. You can save it to your iCloud drive or you can save it to your Chrome are documents now for this process i'm going to choose documents now whichever app that you use on your phone you will see display right here so i'm going to use documents so i'm going to click on documents and then i click on save now once you click on save what you want to do now is to jump to your computer and guys make sure that your phone is connected with your cable so what you want to do in this process is go to itunes now once you go to iTunes, now we are going to click on that icon up at the top where you see the phone icon. Now once you click on that now, you are going to see your phone information. Now what you want to do is to go to file sharing. Now you are going to click on file sharing. 
and you see the upload up so these are the app that is existed now what you want to do is jump to documents and locate the file that you have transferred onto documents now what you can do with this file now is either drag it or copy it and paste it on your desktop or whichever folder that you want to paste it in so you can also drag and drop it and transfer it to your computer now remember earlier when I was trying to transfer a file from my phone to my computer using the file explorer it only could transfer one way you couldn't transfer a file back onto your phone now in this process you can also transfer a file to your phone and also to your computer two ways so in this process I'm going to show you guys how you can transfer a file from your computer to your phone using this step or method so what you can do is to choose any file on your computer that you want to send on your phone so I'm going to find a file on my computer which I'm going to put into documents this up right here so once I find the file what I want to do now is to copy that file and put it into documents now once you have put the file into documents what you want to do is to click on save file so when I click on save file now once you click on save file what you want to do now is to jump to your phone and locate the documents so now I'm going to open documents and now you can see the file that I have transferred to my iPhone so there is a file which is YouTube which is a picture so um, you can also transfer the video as well which I mentioned earlier now what you can do with this file you can also move it to your camera roll so what you can do is to select it I click on select and select the file now once you have selected the file you can transfer this now to your photos so I'm gonna open photos now and there is a file in which I transfer into my photo album so this can also work for videos and those things so very easy and simple step so you don't have a cable in your reach no problem I'm gonna show you how to transfer a file from both your computer and to your phone wirelessly so in this process you might want to download Dropbox so in this process I'm going to use Dropbox so I'm installing Dropbox on my phone like right now so you might want to download Dropbox on both device on your phone and also on your computer now once that has been installed I'm going to jump to the process of where you can transfer the file from both device Now once you have download Dropbox, you may set up your account and all those things. So which I'm not going to show in this tutorial, that may be for our next tutorial. So now what you want to do is to upload a file from your computer. So already I have seen where I have uploaded a few files already. Now you're going to choose upload file. Now once you have choose upload file, you're going to select a file from your PC that you want to upload to Dropbox. Now once you have uploaded that file, that file is saved to the cloud now you can access this file whether on any devices once you have Dropbox installed and you're logged into your account so it is basically good when you're keeping store of your information on the internet or on the cloud so I'm gonna choose a folder in which I want to upload my file to then I click upload and that file has been now uploading to my Dropbox so I'm going to view details there. Now this process can take up to quite some time depending on your internet connection. So if you have a faster internet, this process will be much faster. Now once this is complete, what you want to do is to jump to your mobile phone and open the box that you have installed. Now once you have opened Dropbox, what you want to do is to go to your folder in which you have saved your file to to locate that file so very simple step guys in which you can transfer a file from your computer to your phone okay guys so those are the four ways in which you can transfer a file from your phone to your computer or from your computer to your phone now bonus tip you can also transfer a file using via Wi-Fi so you can use apps such as um, OneDrive Dropbox in which I used earlier iCloud and those up to transfer a file via the internet so if you don't have the cable ready available you can also transfer the file via from the internet so I hope these tips helps you guys so 
remember to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and i see you in my next video peace out